Kia ora and welcome back to the Touch Breakdown with Pokao Kurukanga. Welcome to episode 14, uh, which means it is the second half of the third and final game of the State of Origin Open Men's Series. Um, as always, our this episode is brought to you by KBS Sportswear, our partners that have just jumped on board. Um, this is another one of the tees that we just got done up, so... If you're looking for any uniform suppliers, team wear, apparel, even school uniforms, be sure to um, hit them up through Instagram and also through the links in our bio and in the description of this video will be their Australian and New Zealand website. Uh, back to the video, obviously the second half of the last game of the series was a cracker. Queensland not letting their foot off the throat and New South Wales putting up a massive, massive fight in the end. Um, cracker of a game, so without further ado, jump straight into it. So obviously the start of this half, New South Wales starting with the ball, waiting for the referee to blow the whistle to start, good fix there, um, and then heading down to the 7 metre line. So New South Wales obviously wanting to start with a bit of a hiss and a roar, obviously Hennessy's going to be on the ball. Geordie, or Counties, nice early release, and then the middle for Queensland there just gets beat. So great way to start the second half for New South Wales, great way to get them back in it. Um, same starter move from New South Wales as Queensland to score the first try of the half. Very interesting. Um, also a move that they've run throughout the series. So obviously with Pete jumping up that early, you can sort of see that um, I think it's Law there is going to help out. So what you can see is Pete got up real early to make a strong touch. Law's already back on the line, so he shot out. But what that does is sort of puts him out of position Hennessy, with his experience, able to move the ball on to Geordie Marshall-King. And then just with his speed, um, Law just sort of makes an effort a bit late on the shut call to the link there. And then Geordie Marshall-King goes over. So great way to start the second half for New South Wales there. Straight back into it, 5-3. See the ball just going to ground there. So New South Wales going through their orange zone at the moment. Getting some nice, good flow, right down to around the 8 metre mark, Hennessy on the ball, and then unlucky for the ball to go to ground there, they definitely had a bit of a collapse, so it would have been um, awesome to see the ball go to hand, and then that tips option, you can see that Hennessy, uh, very good at it, keeping himself alive, you know, once the ball is gone, following the ball, uh, but unfortunately the ball went to ground there, so unlucky. And then equally, some great flow, great orange zone from um, Queensland into their green zone nice 32 drop good um, link ball but um, some even better um, cover D from New South Wales there so like I said at the start you know Queensland not putting their taking their um, foot off the throat sort of thing and you know New South Wales if you take a look at the orange zone looking a lot better good strong drop then good tip on it seems they sort of had people just out of position there, really. Um, but interesting to see that sort of didn't have people in the right position, but that's all right, still getting through the field and still finishing their set. So Queensland coming through their orange zone, best part of their game at the moment. You can see that the New South Wales defenders still trying to send that single flyer, something they've done um, throughout the whole series, um, which is pretty interesting. And then... Queensland with a bit of a mistake there. Not sure if that was a 7 on penalty again. Probably, highly likely that it was. Uh, but that's alright. New South Wales with a good attacking opportunity. Some good defence from Norman there. You can see him getting back, talking to the ref, and then getting up nice and early. New South Wales running a bit of a sweep option with a follow. And a good read there. And that's actually touch zero. So Queensland turning it around straight away. You know, changing that defense into offense. Get the intercept, touch that zero now in the new rules. So they've gone up to the field already into that new, um, going through their orange zone here into the green zone, you know, and should have a good opportunity to get a strike play at the end here. Norman just sort of running the ship. Bit of a bus, and then not Lear Feed just took that to hand. Would have been in for all money. So you can see that, obviously, translating their defense um, into offense. So they got a nice intercept early. Then you can see from the replay there, got down. Run a bit of a rooster. 
nice link ball, and then if not, Lee just um, called that ball there, would have been walking over, but went for the tip on, so unlucky there, but they're still getting the picture that they want, so um, awesome to see from Queensland there. Here's Hennessy again, just telling Lang where he wants him to drop. Good release out the back. Try time. So that was good from Hennessy there. Although it looked like he didn't get the middle that he want, he was able to drag him across enough so that the other side had to pull across also. You could see that they were sort of all at the same line. So it goes on to a bit of a man on situation, but because the linkers had to come so far across, the wingers had to come across. The link sort of tried to get in that lane. Hennessy with his accuracy right out the back through that passive line. And then the winger has made um, a decision to shut that. Probably just a little bit too late there. And then um, some good skills to catch the ball and then release it. Um, bit awkward. It's quite hard to, you know, get that catch and release good. So it's good to see that it's able to go across there. And then dry time. Good on them. And Queensland forcing a bit of a penalty there. So hand over. So New South Wales coming back firing in this one. Not giving up, obviously. Last game of the series. Don't want to get go down in that whitewash. So, um, you know, they're looking very good at the start of this half. Orange zone, obviously, a lot better. Um, their end play is getting a lot better. Then a bit of another bit of a penalty here, too. You can sort of see the ref calling over. Um, I think it's Bembo there. He was trying to run off. So the referees, you know, just bringing everyone back in, you know, not really, um, you know, taking any uh, cheeky words from everyone, you know, obviously there's still a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, mana in the game that they want, so referee is just X them there, you know, that's a four sub, that's alright, he was going off anyway, so, you know, in the end, the referees are going to make the decisions that they make, and you, you know, while you can say the things you see, it's just, you know, it's just in a positive manner, friendly manner, you know, sometimes you're going to get sent off if you, you know, don't speak to them in that way. So, some good officiating there. Interesting call there. Definitely felt like Queensland just made a mistake here. Just went in, dropped the ball. Not a very good dump. But you could see uh, from the hand signals from the referees there that there was a bit of a rolling penalty, which was interesting. So, um, obviously with the rolling, it's that players are rolling back to the goal line too early. Um, this is all at the discretion of the referees as well. So, Interesting call, but New South Wales up for the task. That was a good run there and cut um, between Norman and Higley, but some good cover D from the New South Wales middle there. Pete back onto the ball. A Geordie or a Counties dummy, and then a bit of a skip but a hop. Try time. Uh, what's good about this play here is that they move the ball back to the middle. They've sent it back out to Norman. And you can see how far across Norman splits into the middle. So by him splitting that far across his defending middle, that's a good angle of it there, he's already beaten him on the outside of it. Now, that puts that defending middle there, Langbridge, in a bit of a compromised position. Does he hold? Does he shut it? There was also some running lines from the Queensland defenders. Norman's throwing a dummy. That sent Langbridge out just that small amount that... Norman needs just to step back and then quickly get down to the ground, and he's already beaten that player um, previously. Try time. And then, just like that, Hennessy's come back straight away. One of the easiest tries you'll see. A quickie, step back, link ball, try time. So you see Hennessy gets a quickie, beats the defending player, making him fall over, actually. Good angle of it here. You can see shutting and holding, shutting and holding. And then with Hennessy's accuracy, you know, you won't get an easier try than that, really. Sort of going one-on-one -on -one with your player, beating them, collapse there, and then another collapse from the link with the accuracy of the ball from Hennessy to the New South Wales link, and a good dive, try time. Some good running plays from Queensland there. So you can see that Queensland definitely are getting onto the live play. So the Roosters, the Geordies, you know, being live. Runs a bit of a ninja play or a um, or a dingo plus. So you can see what's good about that one there is how they've set it up is obviously they've got more on the left who's supposedly coming down the lane. 
Then they've got Russell, who's split to the right and split outside of his middle, already beating him there. You can see he fakes to the outside, and then a good follow on the inside from that Queensland player. So, obviously, with more on that left side, that's his favoured side, left to right strong. So the middles will already be coming a bit tighter there to make that touch. They've made the touch, and Russell has split out the other way, outside of the defending middle already, running him to that side, and then a good follow from um, the inside Queensland defender there. You know, there was no real opportunity for the player who made that touch to corner and then recover. So, great play, great try. This would have been a nice little option there, but it seemed like it was covered from Pete Norman there. But good to see, you know, just inside ball and then staying alive, Langridge, um, for the tips, but ball to ground, unfortunately. So, Queensland hissing again through that, through that orange zone. Good strong drive there. Just keeping the ball alive and then intercept from Jordy Marshall King. So that is touch zero again. An intercept coming is not touch one anymore. Goes back to touch zero underneath the new rules. So better orange zone through New South Wales as well. So they're just getting through the field and a great opportunity coming into their seven meter line. But sort of broken down. That's good defense from Notley there. Able to jump up um, out of his zone, out of his link zone. But he's seen what they want. He's come in and been able to disrupt that. Goes into a man-on situation straight away for Queensland and easy touch. Nicely done. Then Queensland straight back onto that transition. Some good defense from New South Wales as well. Still sending up that single fly. So seem to be working for them in this game especially, which is good. Then a nice strong drop from Queensland there. Russell looks like he wanted to go behind Hennessy, and then Hennessy sort of chucked his hands out. Nothing Hennessy could really do there. You could see he was already turned in, so he'd already made that decision. Um, if he'd caught the ball, it would have been you know, a different scenario, but wasn't able to in that instance. So full set of six on the line for Queensland. Great opportunity. You can see players subbing off there, so more just doing the smart thing, waiting for them to have a full... Six on the field, and then setting himself up for what he needs. Bit of a niggly roll ball there from Russell. That's sort of how that ended up on the ground, I feel. Russell was definitely trying to get that middle, uh, which he did, but I think just being that close to the line and sort of, you can see he was like real reaching out to try and make that touch, so um, sort of disrupted that whole sort of play. And then New South Wales, orange zone looking a lot, lot smoother now. Getting through which is awesome to see. Nice drop there. Early release, and then some good cover D from that winger on, the Queensland winger on that side. You can see also, I think there's a replay of it coming, that it seemed that the New South Wales middle and link were running in the same sort of hole, so you can see they weren't, the middle wasn't really running in his chopping line, though he was sort of running in the link line together um but arguably even if they were the queensland winger had already made a good um decision there to shut and then as you can see there queensland again coming through the orange zone law absolutely giving it to that new south wales defender there who missed that touch um this looked like it was a planned play to be fair it looked like they wanted to set up for that 33 pick um you'll see as it goes through there Norman sort of picked it and he's given an early release to Notley at the link there and then Laws following on the inside. So I definitely feel like that was a bit of a planned move. It definitely looked that way. And from the replay you can see, you know, Laws just absolutely giving it to the New South Wales defender there. Um, I think it's just awesome to see, you know, the change up through what Queensland is doing. You know, giving that, you know, getting a nice solid 33 drop able to bring in both the defenders, Norman's picked it up, gone one way, step back, early release to the link, Notley with his speed to throw it out there, and then a nice follow from Law, and then there's a great chase by um, Jordy Marshall King there, from what I've heard, Notley is one of the fastest players on that Queensland team, so awesome uh, chase from Jordy Marshall King there, not to give up, and you know, give out a free try like that. And Queensland just getting all their subs on, getting making sure they can set the right play. New South Wales, smart thing to do, just roll all the way back to the line, get themselves set and stable, and then move forward together. 
Nice early shot there from Jordan Marshall King and Masashi. So that's some good comms there from that design, uh, from that pairing there, the link in the wing. I'm um, just unfortunate on that back to one there. Looked like they wanted to set up a bit of a arm um, 32 long for Russell, but they faked it and went for a quickie on the outside. So unlucky not to get under Jordy Marshall King there. That was a good setup. Again, dingo, long ball. Way to keep the ball alive. Some good defense there from New South Wales. Some good footwork, but some great recover defense there from Langbridge in the middle. So a, a good attacking um, sequence through there from Queensland just to get, you know, from all their touches. And then unfortunate not to score there, but some good sets breaking down the defense how they need. And then we'll be back at it again for sure. Back on that 7 meter, but arguably some good defense from New South Wales as well. Nice solid drop there. Again, short ball, and then it's just gone to ground there. So, some good um, strike dumps happening there. So, a good platform for Hennessy, but it's just been unlucky not to sort of uh, come off for them there in that instance. So, not too bad. So Queensland coming through the orange zone. Some good um, cover defense there from New South Wales again. Still sending that single flyer, which is um, good to see. And it seems to be working for them in this game, which is good, you know. And then Queensland still coming through. Way to keep the ball alive. 32 pick. Good release out to the link. And then I think if the winger, he knows it as well, as you can see on the screen, if he just stayed out there. That would have been another try to Queensland. So, you know, Queensland coming through, sort of that transition from the orange zone to their green zone has been so effective. So being able to get past halfway and then get a nice strong drop close to the line, especially, um, and then just unlucky on that one not to get what they need or get an outcome. So New South Wales made it right down. Good orange zone. Good dummy. Able to manipulate the defender he wants. The defender's definitely broken down there, but just um, some poor execution on that one. So I uh, like there. It was a good um, dummy to release that defending link and then able to get that defending middle. Then a 32 pick. Um, definitely looked like there was a bit of a collapse, but it didn't. Uh, just the pass in the end wasn't as accurate. So hard luck. And then... Give away a penalty as well, so Queensland coming through their orange zone. So Queensland definitely, you know, foot on the throat, that ruthless mentality, you know, not giving up, um, just going through, making sure they're finishing their sets, you know, trying to create every set. Another set up there, beautiful left to right, long ball, try time, you know. Like I said, they've come down. There's a penalty that's happened on the other side of their field. So they've got a full um, touch, six touch count to go through. They've run a dingo on the seven. And arguably, this defense, unfortunately, not very good. The reason being, when Griffin gets the ball on left to right, the defending middle who made that touch, he actually looked like he was in a man-on position. So even though he's left his feet to dive for Griffin, they were still in a man-on position through that middle middle area it just seems as though the link and the winger had already made a decision to shut griffin with his you know long ball that we've seen throughout the series too accurate try time but arguably you know new south wales go straight back down off of geordie again so what you can see there geordie or counties left to right long what you can see is that the link there I believe it's more he has turned in. So you can see there's a good angle of it. He's turned in. He's reached up for the ball. But by him turning into the play, he's left his winger vulnerable. The winger obviously has to make a decision. Just chosen to man on. An easy tip in for Hennessy and try time. So New South Wales still putting up a good fight. Griffin again coming down that lane. But the winger 
nicely done there. Got up nice and early and made that touch on the link. And then back to one, unfortunately. Good, um, strong touch by Jordy Marshall King there. Sort of disrupt that play. But then, turns out to be a bit of a penalty, but that's a good good outcome in that sense. You know, the players are, you know, talking to the referee. There's a lot going on. Players out of position. So, Jordy Marshall King. Good, strong touch. Penalty. Everyone's set. Can get stable again. They run a bit of a sweep. Beats that player. Goes for the dive. And then, some great... Recover D from that link there to make that touch here well and truly beat in that middle. So that was a good play to run. Um, that sweep on the link, sort of faking. So the whole defensive line has to move across. And then in the other games, they've been picking the ball and running with it. But it was a good change up to pick the ball and then just feed early. And then they've run with it. Um, and then he's <laughs> dived in for the try himself. So some good cover D from New South Wales to save that. Um, if he had passed that ball on, that would have been walkover try for sure. Don't think the winger was in the picture at all. New South Wales sort of coming off their line in that last minute. Make a bit of a mistake and that's the end of the game. It's the end of the series. How good Queensland just absolutely dominant through that series. You know, looked never looked like they were going to lose to be fair. Um, you know, game one was an absolute ripper right on that last minute to set up that try. Game two was, you know, a bit of a blowout. And then this game here, you can see from the scoreline, 9-6. So um, just, you know, kudos to Queensland. Great series. Um, awesome fight back from New South Wales as well in that last one especially. Uh, but Queensland coming away with the whitewash. So that is the end of the State of Origin breakdown series, I guess. Um, that's the last... Um, game of the series obviously but it is not the last video or breakdown that we will do what I'm planning to do um, is a full origin review and sort of pick some main plays and main moments through games one two and three so a big review of the whole series and what's been played in there how it's done why it's done why it's worked etc etc sort of a big breakdown so that'll be um, coming out next week so, as always, like, comment, send me a message if you've seen something. Let's have a chat about it. Follow us on Instagram. Follow KBS Sportswear on Instagram. Um, let's get around. Cheers.